that each of you look out not only for his own interest, but also for the interest of others. We have many examples in Scripture that teach us what humility is all about. For example, notice a few verses from Joseph's life, Genesis 41, verse 14. So Joseph answered Pharaoh, saying, It is not in me. God will give Pharaoh an answer of peace. Genesis 50, verse 19. Joseph said to them, Do not be afraid, for am I in the place of God? But as for you, you meant evil against me, but God meant it for good, in order to bring about, as it is this day, to save many people alive. Now therefore, do not be afraid. In these verses, we see the humbleness of Joseph. He would not take credit for what God had blessed him with, so he told the Pharaoh that it was God that made it possible for him to interpret the dream. Later, he told his brothers that God was in control of all that happened to bring about the salvation of his people. This is all about giving God the glory. As Paul said in 1 Corinthians 10, verse 31, Therefore, whether you eat or drink, or whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. When we do good works for the Lord, we are to glorify Him and not ourselves. It's not about us. It never has been about us. Again, as Jesus said in Matthew 5, verse 16, Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. As Paul taught, Acts 26, verse 19, Therefore, King Agrippa, I was not disobedient to the heavenly vision, but declared first to those in Damascus and in Jerusalem and throughout all the region of Judea and then to the Gentiles that they should repent, turn to God, and do works befitting repentance. 